This weekend marked a full year since the first cases of COVID-19 were discovered in Pennsylvania. Hard to believe after months of quarantine, we're hearing from so many of, this, of you this morning about life one year after the pandemic began. Newswatch 16's Ryan Lucky live in the digital studio. Good morning, Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. We wanted to ask folks, what did you learn about yourself, humanity, our area, right, during the whole past year when a lot of people either dealt with COVID or knew somebody who came down with the virus? I actually put this out on my Facebook post earlier in March asking for people to chime in and a number of folks actually shared some really powerful videos, including one couple who described not only experiencing COVID firsthand, but really what they learned from it as well. Both of us had COVID for 19 days and it wasn't easy, but every day was a new day and we just took our time feeling better. The worst of it was the symptoms and wondering, are we going to make it and see tomorrow? The, uh, the fatigue and the fear of being uh, sent to the hospital for a ventilator was shocking. One thing that I've learned during this pandemic is you have to learn how to be kind, you have to learn how to be patient, and you have to be willing to be out there for other people who need your help. And being generous during the pandemic has been something that we have tried to accomplish, helping other people in, uh, in, in small ways whenever we could. And that was actually just one of the comments and videos that I received on my Facebook page. Another one that really resonates with so many people is what they learned about humanity and the importance of certain jobs and what they play in our area, especially those essential workers. And for one woman, she kind of wanted to take this time to give a thank you to those people who continued to show up day in and day out. So thank you to all the people who are out there loving and sacrificing. Thank you to the medical staff. Um, thank you for, to emergency services. Thank you to the food delivery drivers. Thank you. Um, and thank you to all the people out there, um, nonprofits, um, churches, all the ministries serving people. Thank you. And thank you to anyone who is just trying to show love during this time. And if there is something on your mind this morning, maybe a thank you you want to give to somebody or just your life if you experience COVID personally, we would love to hear from you. Shoot me a text at 570-826-1616 and share your story. And I also have this post right now on my Facebook page at the very top where you can drop in your comments, your thoughts, or photos of just something you experienced in the past year. But guys, for a lot of people, tough to believe here we are about 12 months later, right? But a lot of people, I think the message this morning is just sincere gratitude for all of the people who helped get us through this. All right, there's a lot to be grateful for. Thanks, oh, Ryan. Oh, absolutely. We appreciate all their help. Thanks, Ryan. Now we've got Val.